My name is Kira Hillier. I'm a 23-year-old cystic fibrosis patient, and one of the complications of having CF is cystic fibrosis-related diabetes. Having CF means I have to have regular meals and snacks throughout the day, but because of my diabetes, I have to keep an eye on my blood sugars. On top of all the medication that I have to carry daily, which includes my inhalers, my enzymes, my emergency adrenaline injection, I also have to make sure that I have a snack pack and I have to have my blood sugar machine with me. I'm here today at Newcastle University to talk to Professor James Shaw, one of the leading experts in diabetes. Professor Shaw is leading one of the Trust's strategic research centres, bringing together researchers and experts from around the world to investigate CF-related diabetes. So I was diagnosed with CF-related diabetes about six years ago, and I was wondering, is there a particular age where you do develop CF-related diabetes, or does it, can it happen at any time? Certainly, diabetes becomes more likely the longer that you, that you have cystic fibrosis um, and the older you are the more likely you are to have diabetes and it's about 50 percent of people that have it. So can you explain slightly the differences between type 1 and type 2 and then CF related diabetes because obviously they're not the same thing and it's quite often very hard for me to explain to people that I don't have type 1 or type 2. So type 2 diabetes that's most people we hear about it in the paper every single yeah. day, but it's a very, very different disease where um, it's all around genetically driving, yes, not enough insulin, but in people who tend to put on weight around the middle, they tend to have problems with high blood pressure. With type 1 diabetes, the only problem is that the, the cells that make insulin stop working. With cystic fibrosis, it's all around nutrition, and if the pancreas isn't making enough insulin, the danger is that all the calories that you're trying to eat will go through yeah. you into the urine, not into your muscles. Um, so that's why we're keen from the diabetes side, well, let's use insulin, let's, let's try and give you something to help you eat and, and get your muscles built up again. Like many other people with CF-related diabetes, I have a lower pancreatic function and suffer from sudden tiredness as well as weight loss, which puts my overall health in danger. This new study hopes to find out why this type of diabetes forms and how to prevent its development. It's new and it's, uh, you know, we don't know that much about the pancreas in diabetes because we never get to see it. Because um, the tissue is so precious to really look at the science and how the cells are talking to each other. We need to get these cells and, and this project working all, with lots of different labs means that we're all trying to use lots of different techniques. They do, in, in Sweden for example, they, they take these cells and they hit them with electricity to make them push out their insulin and then they can see, well, is the CF gene abnormality, is that affecting the way they put out insulin? And then the lab in Ireland will look at, well, actually, is it affecting the way that they they connect because they've got to be talking to each other. What's really coming across to me is your excitement and your enthusiasm for this and it's, it's really great to see someone who's so passionate about wanting to help people like me who have CF related diabetes. Science is a wonderful thing. <laughs>